Hey, this is Carl and welcome to another monthly episode of Statues I Wish I Could Afford. In this video, I'll be showing you guys a summary of all the cool stuff featured this month in the weekly World of Custom Statues, as well as statues that I did pre-order or paid for follow-up payments. So let's start the list. First on the list of interesting statues this month is we have this Berserker Logan. This is the second Berserker Wolverine in the line from the studio. The first one was a Berserker Wolverine, which is Wolverine on a astonishing outfit on top of a roof uh, with some dead uh, ninjas. The concept is a bit similar with this one uh, as there are dead ninja bodies. However, the base is quite different as this is kind of more on a museum type of base. Also, Wolverine isn't rocking any outfits here, just his raw self. Most likely, claws and swords will be made out of real metal, just like the first one. Second is we have Wolverine's best friend, Deadpool, but not your ordinary Deadpool, but a fat version of Deadpool. This is not a quarter scale statue, I don't even know what the scale is, but this is a cute and fun statue that even non-collectors could enjoy. I think this would be a nice gift for the wife. Anyway, I think this will be part of a line of fat Marvel characters as there used to be a fat Justice League line. Third is we have Null. This is straight out of the comics. Null is such a sinister villain and rightfully so as he is the god of all symbiotes. Anyway, we have the prototype finally revealed. This is a very ambitious project with lots and lots of switch outs. I don't even know how to display this when I get it. But most likely will depend when I see the actual statue. This is a sold out statue with a very very small edition size. Fourth is for Star Wars fans and we have the full reveal of the prototype of this diorama of Anakin Skywalker fighting Obi-Wan Kenobi. Probably one of the most iconic scenes uh, from the Star Wars franchise movie and I think this one even got a meme to it. The prototype anyway came out amazing, definitely love the clear resins as well as the light up features for the statue. Very very ambitious but I think they nailed it 100%. Congrats to everybody who was able to pre-order this one. Fifth is another prototype reveal and we have Spider-Gwen. This is probably the best Spider-Gwen right now. Dynamic pose but does not take a lot of space to display. And speaking of base, look at the base. Look how detailed that is. And the unmasked portrait just look DEA beautiful. I think using the mass portrait uh, wouldn't do justice to the statue. You gotta flex that unmasked portrait. Next is we have another character from the Spider-Verse and we have Miguel O'Hara aka Spider-Man 2099. This statue has been revealed before already but they updated the base to match their Spider-Man line better. I am very interested in this uh, version of Spider-Man as I don't have uh, this version yet in my collection so I'm definitely monitoring this one for sure. The seventh one is we have another Spider-Man but this time it is a diorama of Spider-Man fighting the Kingpin. This is also the prototype reveal and Titinon did a fantastic job on the prototype. The color really pops. Caleb also did a fantastic job on the sculpt. This is a line of Spider-Man fighting some villains and all of them are sculpted by Caleb. Very very dynamic and definitely looks fresh in my opinion since it's not the usual diorama where one of the characters is attached to the forearm of the enemy or the other character in the diorama. Next is we have Star Sapphire. There's just really something about this render that kind of pulls you into it. Great sculpt, beautiful portrait for sure, and very very nice renders. This is probably the best Star Sapphire statue around and the only one you need to own.
Next is we have another Spider-Man and wow, we have a lot of Spider-Mans uh, in this month's list. But this one is sculpted by Caleb Nefsen and it is inspired from the art of Gabriel Del Otto. This is also the prototype reveal already. Very, very nice concept and also an iconic moment when Spider-Man tries to remove the Venom symbiote. This statue also comes in two versions. Either you get the one where he's still wearing the Spider-Man suit or the other one which does not. The nude version is actually the comic accurate version by the way. But I kinda like the suit version as I love the red that pops. Next is another Transformation Spider-Man, but this one is a museum type statue. Uh, the type of statue that I actually like and collect. I do love the concept as I don't have this version of Spider-Man, I'd say, or the concept. I don't have this yet. And it is sculpted by Yusef, a very well-known Spider-Man sculptor. He actually sculpted that famous Del Otto museum type Spider-Man. Anyhow, I am interested on the concept on this statue. I'll probably decide when I see the prototype. Eleventh is we have a Spider-Man villain and we have the ultimate Green Goblin together with the variant, the ultimate Hobgoblin. Scott is the same for most parts, uh, just different portrait and textures. And the Green Goblin does have two versions, either you get it with the cape or without the cape. Uh, this is a very rare version of Green Goblin and Hobgoblin, gotta say, didn't even know uh, this version existed in the comics. Anyway, the Scott looks fantastic as this is sculpted by Miguel Hernandez. I always, always, always always love his textures on all his sculpts. Next one is a Venom, a very monstrous looking Venom, gotta say. The transformation portrait also looks pretty good in my opinion. And I love how Venom has some Venom symbiote scrolling on his body. I don't see this too often. It's usually just the veins uh, popping out. Hopefully they paint this nicely so those uh, symbiotes will pop more and are much more visible. Next is another Venom but this time it's a museum type Venom and this is again sculpted by Yusuf like the Spider-Man I mentioned before. Yusuf is a museum type statue sculptor and he excels at that a lot. I really love the portraits on this Venom, love how detailed the teeth are. The smile also looks very very sinister. I just love this Venom but I already have two museum uh, Venoms that were sculpted by Yusuf here actually inside the studio. They are still inside the box. I still don't know what to do with them so I haven't unboxed them yet. But maybe I'll consider this one once the prototype is revealed if it's really that good. And lastly is we have one of the most ambitious and amazing concept I believe last year and we have the prototype reveal of this Venomized Magneto. I'm definitely speechless on this one. Anga did a fantastic job on the sculpt and Titanon did an amazing job as well on the paint. Excellent work by the team who made this diorama. This Venomized Magneto is probably a statue all Magneto fans would love to add to their collection. Maybe not so for Spider-Man collectors but this is just Amazing. Can't wait for this statue to ship and actually in collector's hands. Before we proceed to the list of statues that I pre-ordered or at least paid for the follow-up payments, here are some teasers this month that pique my interest. First is Thor. I'm always looking forward to any Thor statues as I do have an Asgardian collection and I'm looking for a good Thor statue. Though one of my favorite Thor would actually ship very very soon and I'm quite excited to get that. And the second is this Power Girl, probably the first custom Power Girl statue but I could be wrong. So still, this is quite promising. So now is the time for the statues that I did pre-order or paid for follow-up payments this month. First is I paid for the final payment and shipping for this Gogeta statue and should be arriving soon and I'll do an unboxing and review on that as soon as possible. 
Second is this diorama of Kirby. I also paid the uh, final payment and shipping and should ship together with that Gogeta. This is the second in line of video game diorama from the studio. The first one was Mario. I unboxed months, months, months ago. So I'm quite excited to get this one and I'm also excited to see when they reveal the third diorama. I wonder what that would be. And lastly is another Dragon Ball Z statue and we have Piccolo. I also paid final payment and shipping so all these three statues should ship together. Don't want to talk more about them as I'll reserve my thoughts when I do unbox them and review the statue. Let me know in the comments below on what you guys think of the pieces mentioned in the video. For more fun art and custom statue updates, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future content. I upload updates every Sunday, 1pm Pacific Standard Time. Check this video out right here. I know you'll enjoy it as much as this one. This is Carl and see you in the next one.